So Sam, we're out here uh, in Atlanta at the McDonald's game. How's it going for you out here? Oh, it's going great. You know, this experience has been great so far. I'm just, I'm taking it all in. You know, every day just coming out here and competing against other top players in the country. You know, you only go through this experience one time, so I'm just, I'm enjoying every, every single aspect of it. First time I saw you was in August at the Nike Skills Academy. Um, you know, people didn't consider you like a McDonald's guy yet. You were kind of on your way up. People were saying, wow, this, he had a great summer. He's, his stock is rising. Uh, what happened to kind of allow you to make that ascent? Well, I mean, that's my thing. My biggest thing is uh, progression. And I feel like I've been a late bloomer. And my thing is, I want, every time somebody sees me play, I want them to say, dang, he's gotten a lot better since the last time I've seen him play. So my thing is just, you know, keep getting stronger, you know, keep uh, refining all my skills, just keep working. And that's how I feel like I've done. Did you grow? Did you get more exposure? Did you add like a particular new part to your game? Like, what was the key in, you know, going from, you know, where you were to, to, to now? From about how long ago? Since when? Two years ago, oh man, shoot, everything. You know, I grew probably about an inch. I was about 6'6", my uh, sophomore year. And uh, I was I was real scrawny. I was 6'6", like 155, 160. So, you know, I put on a lot of weight. Uh, back then, you know, I've always been pretty skilled, but just, just becoming more skilled, you know, just strengthening my strengths and uh, even strengthening my weaknesses. Uh, I, I think my three balls came a long way. And I feel like, you know, my mid-range is where I've been able to uh, set myself apart from others and also my playmaking ability. What are the things that you need to improve on to, um, to be an impact player at Louisville next year? Uh, there's two main things I'm, I'm really focused on right now, and that's, that's still getting bigger. You know, I want to put on probably 15 pounds before the season. So I'm trying to get, you know, more, more athletic, more explosive, uh, put on some weight. And then also I want to get NBA range on my three ball, and I want to get it more consistent. Uh, any players that you really enjoy watching play, either in college or the NBA? Uh, well, LeBron's my favorite player, but as far as like who I who I take stuff from, I like to watch Jason Tatum, uh, Devin Booker, and Paul George. Those are probably the three guys that you know I take a lot of moves from. Uh, even uh, Paul George is a great defender. I watch a lot of his you know defensive plays and stuff like that. So just whatever I can take from from elite wing wing players that play similar to myself, and that's that's what I do. How does a kid from Texas end up in Kentucky? How does that happen? Uh, well, you know, there's a few different reasons, but I would say, uh, you know, a big reason was I wanted to play at a basketball school. You know, it, it's different. You know, Texas is a football state. You know, Texas schools have had trouble recruiting guys in state. A lot of times guys will leave to go to elite programs like Louisville. But, um, you know, other than that, you know, just the relationship that I built with Coach Mack, you know, the fan base and the opportunity is why I went to Louisville. What did you think about the season that they had? What were your thoughts kind of seeing how they started and, you know, the, the run and then the end? Yeah, there was definitely some up, ups and downs, but I think overall it was a great season. It was a great first year for Coach Mack and, uh, and the rest of the team. I know they were picked preseason number 11 in the ACC, and then I know they were number four and number five for most of the year, and I think they finished at seventh place. So, you know, they exceeded a lot of people's expectations. Uh, you know, lost a, lost a tough one in the first round. But, you know, but uh, I think we'll be back. We'll be back stronger. Any thoughts on how the wing position is evolving in basketball? It feels like there's no real clear cut two, three, four anymore. It kind of all blends together. And, and, and how do you fit into that? Yeah, I think that's good for, you know, for myself. Uh, you know, I, I don't have to be a two guard or a three. You know, I'm, I'm a basketball player. And, uh, you know, a lot of times, a lot of teams are going, going small ball. You know, they're playing four guards or a guard, three wings, and a big. So that's just one extra, one extra, you know, guard on the court, which is, you know, another opportunity for myself to get on the court. Great stuff, man. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Take care.